Have you ever wondered why we help others when there's nothing in it for us? While much evolutionary research shows that selfishness has helped us survive, altruism has its equal place in helping us thrive. Hi, I'm Peter Montoya from Thrive Union, and I'll be sharing our current thinking on altruism as part of our How the Brain Works series. There are two main theories for why we developed altruism. The first is reciprocal altruism, which posits that members of a species sometimes sacrifice their own well-being for others in their group, with the expectation that they will receive help in the future when they need it. The second theory is kin selection, which is that we will give up our own well-being to help other close relatives survive. Brain scans show that our own threat response regions light up when a close friend is threatened. As James Cohn, a psychology professor who uses brain imaging explains, the findings show the brain's remarkable capacity to model self to others, that other people close to us become part of ourselves. Helping others releases a bevy of feel-good hormones, endorphins, and neurotransmitters. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and others are released during an act of goodwill. When we assist others, our reward circuitry lights up, including our midbrain, ventral striatum, medial amygdala, and orbital frontal cortex. Helping others activates our nucleus accumbens, the brain region linked to pleasant surprises. At the same time, the stress regions in our brains, such as the dorsal anterior cingulate cortex, right anterior insula, and right amygdala become less active. All of these create the warm glow effect, a pleasant feeling that makes us want to give more to others. Because altruism reduces stress and increases happiness, it leads to better health, lowered blood pressure, and increased life expectancy. How do we build our altruism? First, practice compassionate meditation. Studies show that this increases our empathy and grows parts of the brain, like the left hippocampus, which helps regulate emotions. Second, act altruistically. Contribute a bit of time or money every day. Research shows the amount donated doesn't matter, just that you donate regularly. By actively practicing and building our altruism, we can literally change our brains, experience the warm glow of giving, and truly thrive. Thrive Union is a real-world community and life school dedicated to human well-being. Our regular events include parties, game nights, supper clubs, hikes, and Thrive meetings to build deep levels of intimacy, empower us to grow, and improve our world. Our Life School provides educational videos, articles, conferences, and educational courses. Visit our website at thriveunion.org to learn more.